talk with the stars of the new Mission Impossible Fallout movie. After that, I only have one question. Is it worth your money? Here with his answer from Paul's trip to the movie, say hi to Paul McGuire Grimes. Yeah. Hello. Hi. All right, Paul. Now, listen, uh, at this point, it is no surprise the promotions are all out there saying critics are loving this movie. Are you one of them? I am loving this movie. Movie. All right. Yes. I love yes. It. This is the sixth and best Mission Impossible movie to date. It started back in 1996. So hard to think. 22 years later, and we got the best one. Okay. So here we are. I mean, it's tough for a sequel to do well, right. much less the sixth in an installment. How? Why is this working so well? I think so many factors. I mean, I think you've got a cast of now worked together for multiple multiple movies. So the chemistry and the banter is there between them. So they really are a family unit. So characters are so important. They know how to raise the stakes with each of these. Action sequences, and in this one, each one gets bigger and better and more daring as the movie progresses. So we've talked a lot about the stunts and the action that you yeah. see, but I wonder about the story. Is this a story that you want to watch? Is it fun? Is the does the plot make sense? It, it totally makes sense. They make it accessible. So when it, Ethan Hunt and his crew have to find these through three globes of plutonium before this other group detonates them over the Vatican, Jerusalem, and Mecca, oh. and then there's a per someone from his past that comes back into play. So there's this history with someone that he knows that he doesn't quite sure what's going on there. Uh, rate Tom Cruise's performance in this. One of the best of his career. Why? Really? Because I think he, yeah. I mean, I like a lot of his other more dramatic turns, but he does Ethan Hunt so well, and you always believe him. And because he does these stunts, they look realistic, and you feel like you're right there with him. So you say you're on the edge of your seat your entire time? The entire, entire time. time. Wow. I think it showcases Paris, London, Kashmir so well. You can see the, the architecture and the history of these cities on the screen. Ticket stubs, my man. Four and a half out of five. Whoa, I love buddy. It. Go see it. Go see it at the zoo. The Biggest screen possible. Any the chance this sound. gets Oscar recognition? I mean, it could because the action is so well. And it's hard to do action well these days, especially yeah. with special effects. Yeah. And these are all practical that it's daring. All right, let's quickly go through a couple home releases. Uh, Ready Player One. Yes, this is the latest from Steven Spielberg. And this is actually my favorite movie of the year. And in this one, it's about a kid that goes into this virtual world called yeah. the Oasis in order to. Uh, Win it and inherit it from its creator. Kind of a Willy Wonka inspired story. Intriguing. Where yes. can you watch this? So you can get this on video on demand, iTunes, uh, iTunes rentals, um, DVD, Blu ray. It's from Steven Spielberg. And even if you think, I'm not really a gamer, I'm not into virtual reality, again, they make it accessible. And if you grew up in the 80s, you will love all of the references in it to Spielberg, to Stephen King, to Atari, to oh, cool. Batman. It is chock full of just really great. Effects, CGI, motion capture, live action, stunning. I'm glad that I Feel Pretty is available to yes. stream now because I've been wanting to see this. This is that Amy Schumer movie. Yes. And it, 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 I just really think it looks great. It is really smart and really well done. And I mean, I am someone that have struggled with weight my entire life and still do. So there was so much in this movie that resonated with me about self acceptance body appreciation and how you grow to love yourself the way that other people see you and it really is a different turn for Amy Schumer it's not she's kind of off brand in this it's yeah. not the gross out humor that we expect yep. you really like her character I think you have to go into this from what I understand not thinking you're gonna laugh 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 correct that it's more of the story I think that was an expectations thing so right. I'm looking forward to seeing that thanks it's, Paul you're welcome thank Good you so stuff. much thanks, buddy. okay you. visit Paul's website it's called Paul's trip to the movies.com for more movie reviews and then you can listen to Paul he's on the Colleen and Bradley show on my Talk 1071 every Friday or on his podcast. Busy guy. Also called Paul's <laughs> Trip to the Movies. How about that? Yeah. Hey, it is a bit warmer.